think that the most popular street food in Malaysia is nasi lemak or roti canai, but it's actually a burger? In this video, I'm gonna dive face first into Malaysia's famous Ramly Burger, an iconic street food staple that has been causing taste bud overloads and plenty of heart palpitations since its inception in 1978. That's over 40 years ago. Walk through the streets of busy Kuala Lumpur or anywhere else in Malaysia for that matter, and you're almost guaranteed to find a Ramly inspired burger store to satisfy your burger cravings, usually at night. Here we are in Bukit Bintang, in the heart of Kuala Lumpur's Golden Triangle. Today we are on the hunt for a Ramly burger. Why is it called Ramly? A guy named Ramly founded it in the 70s and has since sold it, so all of the other food vendors still use the recognisable name to this day, all over the country. To get to our Ramly stall, we are going to have to go through one of Kuala Lumpur's most busy and bustling food streets, Jalana Law. Let's go. One of my favorite corners or places or anything here in Kuala Lumpur Pavilion is just down there. I've been here during the day, but not at nighttime really like this. And I don't know about you, but this kind of reminds me of New York. I went there about, I don't know, 11 years ago or something, 10 years ago. This is awesome. This city center and the way that all the cars are just going out and all the people crossing the road like crazily is insane. I love it here. I love this place. I love this city center. I love this, what's this called? Crosswalk intersection. This is a place to be. I love it. The vibes are immaculate. Let's get walking. We have to head this way in order to get to Jalana Law. It's not far from here at all. Let's go. So this is Jalan Alor. So this is apparently one of the most popular places you'd come like as a tourist and more of sort of a backpackers type feel of a uh, suburb or place, but heaps of street food here, anything that you could ever want, any kind of cuisine or dish that you would uh, be after. Um, a little bit more expensive, obviously this is more of like a tourist type street, so you're not gonna get those local prices, but still really good. And we've eaten here a couple of times and it's really nice. So the coolest thing about this is that most of them, hi, <laughs> hi. Most of them are restaurants at the front or there are lots of restaurants. There's lots of people at the front. They usually get you in with some signs and there's heaps of seating at the front of most of these places and you all just sit down and go from there. But there's lots of places to sit and also lots of street food carts as well. But first thing we need is that Ramly burger. I'm not gonna keep you waiting. I'm gonna eat it, tell you what it's like, tell you about it, tell you what it tastes like. And then we'll come back up through this street and show you a little bit more of it. But let's go find this Ramly burger. So we've just found one at the end of Jalan Alor. Let's go order. Hi, Hi. Abba Kaba. Hi. Can I have a cheese special? Special? Yeah, and a egg banjo. Egg banjo? Yes, please. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Uh, cheese special, you want uh, beef or chicken? Beef, beef, please, yes. Which one do you like? Do you like chicken or beef? beef. You like beef? Okay, yeah. must be beef then. <laughs> We have gone with the absolute crowd favorite and maybe the reason why Ramleys are so popular, the Ramley Special. Instead of a normal burger that is cooked with a bun, some meat, sauce and some vegetables, Ramley Special add a key ingredient, which is an egg. But not just whacked on top like a normal burger, they actually cook the egg and wrap it around the patty. Then when it's all done, all put together, they put on enough sauce to pretty much drown a small city. This looks delicious. Let's get into it. Okay, so I thought I was gonna get the beef one and the one that's just wrapped in egg with no bun, but I think I just ordered one with no meat with just an egg. <laughs> so I think I got the wrong one. I wanted one wrapped in the egg. So what they do is they wrap that egg around the meat, um, but only got one with no meat and just egg. Anyway, um, <laughs> we have two of the burgers here and they are slipping and sliding all over the place, like wet and wild. <laughs> So let's try this. Now I do know I had a little lick of my finger and it is quite spicy. And I don't do well with spicy food if you're new here. Welcome. I don't do well with spicy food. So let's try, let's try this. I'm picking this burger up and it is so hard to keep it all together in one spot like me on a emotionally tough day. So <laughs> we're gonna get into this and I'm gonna take my very first bite of this burger. It's gonna have to be a big one. All right, you ready? Mmm. Mm. The crush of that lettuce and everything else is so soft. Oh, I think the way that they cook the bun on the pan first and get the juices all mixed up in there, it obviously like really enhances those flavors. This is so good. Let me see your hands. Please. <laughs> and my face. Yeah. <laughs> there is 
sores and food everywhere. Don't come with a full face of makeup on, I'm telling you that. You're gonna have sores all over it. Oh, it's falling apart as we speak. All right, I see a big chunk of cheese here. I'm gonna get that in with another big bite. Mm, this is absolutely delicious. This is really good. Spice is not bad when you eat The, the spice isn't bad when you eat everything together. Yeah, you're right. That egg wrapped in that burger, you just get egg sort of as you bite through the top, through the meat and out the bottom. But honestly, to be completely honest, there's so much going on. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if you can separate everything that's going on here, but everything mixed together in one bite or in your mouth at the same time is just to die for. It's amazing. This is really good. I love me a good burger. This is a good burger. One of the, or a couple of the main differences, Australia has a really big burger scene. And and I think that there are some differences straight off the bat. I think in Australia, you don't have as much like messy sauce. I try and keep it usually as clean as possible, but that's not always a good thing. I love that this is coated in so many different flavors. I love that it's messy. Like, I love this. I love eating with my hands. I'm not scared to get a little bit dirty when I'm eating a burger, you know what I'm saying? But this is really cool. There's not often always an egg on a burger at home either. Sometimes you have to add it. Most of the time you have to add it if you want it. And they don't whack. Wap. <laughs> they don't wrap it around. <laughs> um, so that's part of the couple of the most differences. Um, this is just delicious. I know that it's almost a signature of the Ramley burger to have be loaded with all of this sauce. Um, and it's certainly coming through <laughs> with that, that's for sure. Not, more, all, not always all the time as well. They have like chili or sweet chili sauce on burgers in Australia. I normally have like mayo or maybe barbecue. Um, so this is something different completely, even though it has the staples of a burger, it's just not the same. So the other thing that I get as a like travel YouTuber travel creator is a lot of people online telling me not to eat burgers. <laughs> I always have to sort of eat the local dish, which we do anyway, but I love that I have an excuse to eat a burger because it is the local cuisine, basically. This is exciting. I love it. I was going to give it to Michael, but I think I might just have it myself. Mm. Mm. This is so good. <laughs> I do this all the time now, but this is amazing. I love the part with the egg that like wraps around. Yum. Well, you're ordering my own. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to leave some for you. <laughs> my bad. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. We have been here for a little bit and Michael has actually ordered some Ramly burgers from Grab or when he's been out. But I saved myself and I was like, no, I'm gonna have my first impression when I get there, when I have the burger. So this was my very first time. But Michael has had some of these burgers before. However, he has not had this egg one. So let's see how he likes this compared to all the others. So if you've ever seen any of Josie's videos before, you can probably tell that I like a burger. Um, I've never eaten any on camera, but you can probably tell that I like a burger if you know what I mean. So I have had Ramleys before, as Josie mentioned, because when I found out they were a thing here, I had to try it. I couldn't wait for Josie's video schedule to try it. But this is like one called the Egg Benjo. I've seen it before. I got this wrong. I ordered it because I thought that it was like just an egg kind of wrapped in a burger without the bun, but it's got a bun. So you could call this the vegetarian version, I guess. It is so, again, dripping. Absolutely just dripping. But maybe the vegetarian version will do me good. So let's give it a go. Oh, the egg. I don't think there was a yolk in the other one, or not a thick yolk anyway. No, because it got spread out to be. It got spread out. To be this, is a, this is a fat egg, <laughs> so I didn't get spread out. This is a proper fat egg. Damn, that's good. Even without the meat? Even without the meat. You know what it is? So in Australia, you'll have one sauce on a burger, and that kind of tells you what the flavor of the burger is going to be like. Like they'll, they'll merge like the meat with the sauce. This has a sweet and a sour sauce, and it's two different flavors. I feel like you could put this sauce on any burger and it would be nice. Malaysia, I love Ramly burgers. Please give them to the rest of the world. Don't keep them for yourselves. They're so good. Hi. So I just met everyone. Say hi. Hi, Josie's family. <laughs> hi, Josie's family. Hi. hi, Josie's family. Hi. Come to Singapore one day. Oh, yeah. I love Singapore. Okay, so I just ran into these four really cool people and they told me that they watched my video about two or three hours before they came out tonight and then they met me. So hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for saying hello. And they also said I had to try this coconut ice cream, which is just over here. So let's go give that a try. <laughs> Coconut ice cream. Is it the best tasting one? Worthy of your time. <laughs> because what we are serving is coconut ice cream. Let me tell you how. <laughs> now this is the shell. Yeah. In which we have gone out the flesh and blend into the ice cream. So what you're getting a real coconut ice cream and we save the shell, froze it up and use it as a serving dish. But is it the best coconut ice cream? I dare say so because <laughs> Because I've got people coming back for more. Well, well, maybe I'll come back for more. 
Please I'll do. try. I'll try one now, though. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> I'll advise you not to go too far because you'll be coming back coming soon. Coming back. <laughs> Good thing I don't walk far. <laughs> now, these are the available topping. 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 Oh, toppings. Yeah, we need oh, to know when. Uh, yeah. I like coconut. Yeah. Uh, whether, are you oh. allergic to peanut? No, I like peanuts. Yeah. What's this? Crunchy, crunchy coconut, coconut biscuit. Oh, crunchy coconut biscuit. Rested awesome. coconut. Oh yes, yeah, and peanuts. And peanuts. Perfect, delicious. And two cookies for the Instagram. I love cookies. Put them on there. And you say two cookies is uh, worthy of Instagram. Right? Two cookies. I like. I can do that. You're going on YouTube as well. If that's okay. Perfect. Okay. Double the joy and share. Lovely. Oh, Thank okay. you so much. Josie lifting. So. Josie lifting. Thank you. Hello. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back. All right. We have the best ice cream. Apparently. Oh, sorry. Whoops. We have the best ice cream. Apparently, that almost got me run over by someone walking past there. So we have it. Oh, the thing's really cold. It's like ice around the side. If you see, it's like really icy and like really cold. I guess this keeps it ice cream, right? So we have apparently the best ice cream and a couple of cracker cookies. Oh, oh, I like them. Oh, they are so good. They taste like a cookie I've had before, but the name I can't remember. We're gonna take a little bit of this ice cream with all of the peanuts on top, coconut ice cream in the half little coconut container. Let's try. It is good. Is it the best ever? I can confirm it's the best ever. <laughs> this is really good. It's actually not too coconutty. Like it's a really good mix. It's not the kind where you're like overbearingly, bearingly coconut. It's so cold, refreshing. Oh, I like that. The peanuts go really well. That's a really good combination. I think I believe him. I do recommend. So this is really cool. This is probably one of the only places I would say, oh, there's live music and everything. <laughs> Virginia. Mountain mama, take me home. This is really cool. There's people like eating restaurants, eating dinner. There's like people with street food, there's fruit, there's coconut ice cream. We ran into some people from Singapore, other countries, someone from Thailand, we met in Thailand. There's so many people here. And even though this is sort of a tourist place, this would probably be ooh, <laughs> a really nice place to come. The vibes are really cool. Woo! Okay, so we're walking past here and we saw this place and there was a long line a little bit earlier and if there's a long line, it's usually good. So we're gonna trust everyone else's judgment and try it out. Hi! Ooh, what is it? Putu piring. What's, uh, what's that? Malay traditional cake yeah. made from rice, palm sugar and fresh coconut. Then steam uh, in two minutes only. Only two minutes? Uh, two or three minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, one, How much are they? One set, uh, five ringgit, three piece. Set. One oh, set, okay. please. Thank you. What's he, he's put, oh, uh, is that the steam? Ah. Uh, steamer. Oh, so this big uh, thing steams it. Oh, wow. He's putting like the, is that coconut? Uh, coconut. On top, and then yeah. that whole big yeah. barrel here steams it up through the bottom. The smell is pandan leaf. Oh, pandan leaf. Ah, I love the smell of pandan leaf. <laughs> cool, and it takes two minutes. Uh, awesome. Two or three minutes. Two or three minutes. Uh, coconut. Coconut. Uh, so everything's coconut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, they're like little, like, I don't know, what are they? What shape's that? Dome. <laughs> little domes all on okay. top of each other. Little cakes. And we put a uh, uh, coconut. Coconut on top. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yes, perfect. Yes, yes. Ooh, I'm gonna run over by the car behind me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so we have this really hot piece of lots of coconuts. This is really warm and fresh in my hands, actually. And I think she was saying that this is obviously just Malaysia, traditional Malay. And I'm seeing lots of, obviously, smoke <laughs> will steam because they were steamed. She said about two to three minutes and then they come out and she puts more coconut again on the top of them. So let's see what this tastes like. All right, so it's just broken apart and there's like an inside to it as well. as like an orange sort of pasty inside on top of the coconut on the outside. Let's try. Mmm. Oh. Wow, okay. That is really cool. The inside, that like taste is so sweet. Yeah. And it's really like all melting together in my mouth. It's not as coconutty as I thought, but the coconut like fillet uh, on top. I really like it. It's warm, it's sweet, 
it's chewy. That's good. So it's really cool because when you come to these markets sometimes, you can see all different kinds of cuisine, Thai, Chinese, Indian, all of these different ones. And it's really cool to come to a night market and get something that is traditionally Malay in Malaysia. I like it. I like that a lot. All right, I'm gonna eat the rest of these and then we're gonna go get a drink maybe to wash it down and then we're gonna go explore the rest of Bukit Bintang. Bukit Bintang. Bukit Bukit Bing Bukit Bintang. Let's go. <laughs> Got there in the end. <laughs> First thing I noticed, it's way more cakey yeah. than I thought it would actually be. I'd say this bit and have a bit. Oh, I'm stoked to try something like Malay Malay. Well, this is like night market food here, but this is like, I love traditional food, all right. Mmm. Okay, it's a lot to chew. Quite dry, but super tasty. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna westernize this. People are gonna hate me for it, but with a bit of coconut sauce, this would be delicious. It's already delicious, but it's like, oh, I need a drink after this. He's like got like a big like pump kind of thing. It's getting them fresh like out of the ice. Oh, it's like cutting them up and it's like super fresh orange juice. Slicing up the oranges, putting it in the little like, it's like squeezer. Oh, it's like straight into the bottom. What's that, like a juicer? <laughs> Mechanical juicer. So you got a couple of, oh, it takes probably two whole, two, three whole oranges to make one bottle of orange juice. That's crazy. He has done this before. <laughs> Here on a roll. Wow, I didn't know that that's how many like oranges it took to make that much orange juice. Original. Oh, original. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. That's gonna be good. I can tell. That's gonna be really refreshing. So before you all come at me in the comments, I know that I probably just paid too much for orange juice. But you know what? I want orange juice. Okay. That's all. <laughs> Freshly squeezed too. Oh, so good. Yeah. Pulpy, soury, kind of sweetie. It's kind of like a Gatorade ad then, wasn't it? <laughs> really good. Really delicious. All right, let's head out of Jelana Law. Let's go explore some more of Bukit Bintang. Let's see what else there is around over here. You like the orange juice? Is it worth 12 ringgit? No. Do I care? No. <laughs> so we are now heading up to that big intersection. There is music playing pretty much everywhere you go and there are people absolutely everywhere. There's a lot of live music behind us at the moment. And Michael's been to Malaysia more than I have, so what's going on? It's like a little uh, concert area, and you'll have different buskers here that'll come every night, but sometimes like people will get up and sing with them. It's just it's a vibe, it's really oh, good. We're crossing the road. We cross everywhere in here. You can cross literally in any direction. <laughs> All across the road right now. So you can cross diagonal, left, right, front, back, everywhere. <laughs> That's the wrong way. <laughs> So we're just walking down now from Jalanalor Alor, Jalanalor towards Pavilion Shops just down here. I'm not going to go inside because it is a massive shop and it's got everything you need in it. However, it's just as beautiful from the outside, but it's definitely a must visit when you come to Kuala Lumpur, that's for sure. But we're going to head down here, have a look outside, and then I saw something really special over there, but I'm going to show you in a little bit. So hang on, hang tight for that because it looks super fun. Let's go down here for a first. So I have been to Bangkok, I've been to Singapore, I've been to the Philippines, I've been everywhere. Uh, well, not everywhere, but I've been a lot of places and I have noticed that Asia does malls so well. This is not out of place. There's everything you need here. It is comparable to Bangkok. It's comparable to those massive malls you see here in Southeast Asia. And it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> This is the something fun that I saw earlier. Oh, this looks so fun. It is the Turkish ice cream. He like moves it around. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I need to have a go. Hi. Hello. Can I have one? What flavor do you want, madam? What flavor do you have? Chocolate, vanilla, mango, strawberry, and caramel. Chocolate, please. Okay, please. I'm nervous. <laughs> yes, thank you, madam. Thanks. Thank you so much. I oh. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, finally, 
I got <laughs> Thank you. I got chocolate bar. <laughs> Every time, like honestly, I was like, he didn't go trick me. And then every time I thought I had it, he like, he like dropped it on the floor or something. Is that as fun as it looks? Yes, ice cream is as good as it looks too. Actually, it's better than it looks. That was so funny. Every time I thought he gave it to me, I like grabbed it. And, like I thought he was giving it that. I didn't think I'd fall for it. I fell for it. Mm, this is good. Good ice cream too. <laughs> All right, so today we have been in Jelana Law. We've had a Ramley burger. We've met some awesome people. We ate some great food. Had a lot of ice cream <laughs> and a lot of coconuts today. But this is definitely the place. Spitting my ice cream everywhere. Where to come if you're in KL. Book of Bintang has almost absolutely everything, and this mall is right close to it as well. Now, leave me a comment, say hello, tell me where you are in Malaysia, where you're from. I'd love to say hello and meet everyone who's new on my channel. Make sure you do like and subscribe if you like my content, if you like my videos. That really helps me out with my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and like, you'll like one of these on the screen right now. One of those. Watch them after this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!